scrap eyeliner to me was such a perfect tool to be able to play around with. There are a lot of qualities that I love, I think as an artist and just as a makeup fan in general. The formula itself really lends itself to blending. You know, you can layer so many different colors in so many different ways that make new, fun, and exciting looks. I just already prepped my skin. I've done uh, my foundation, my powder. I've also done a little bit of blush, my eyebrows. And I've just set the tone of this look with a warm, very neutral looking shadow. I'm gonna start with the bottom of the lid first because uh, for me, whenever I'm doing any kind of cat eye look, um, I like to kind of set the groundwork with just you know the angles by using my natural eye line. So for the bottom lid, I'm actually gonna do a little bit of a gradient look uh, using three tones, a black, a dark brown, and a lighter brown. Starting with this beautiful light brown, I named it Napolitano. Um, I'm gonna just blend a little bit at the bottom under, under where my pupil is. What I love about this one in particular, it has a little flecks of gold, which are subtle but make such a huge difference. And once that's done, I'll take the darker one. This one's called Immortal Love. And then I'll just blend that into the existing. Bring it almost to the corner of the eye. And then next, my favorite black. This is called Puro Amor, which means true love in Spanish. And I'll take this and just follow the angle of my bottom lid. The cool thing about these eyeliners is that the formula itself is very blendable. So when we're done with all of this, don't worry if it looks kind of sloppy because we'll be able to go in and blend all of it. So the exciting part, I'm gonna use this wonderful green. This green I called Eyegasm. Uh, I'm gonna start at this side of my eyes and then work my way inwards. And as you can tell, like this formula just like glides on. So now I'm gonna take that little angle of black that I, I we, you know, we had from the first step and just follow that out. So now I'm gonna match up the other eye and work that all the way down to the lash line. Okay, cool. So using this little smudge brush, I'm gonna, now that we're done with the green, I'm going to take this and just blend black into all the browns and into the base of the, the shadow that we put on earlier. Voila. Lastly, I'm gonna add some precise definition using the tattoo liner. One stripe works good on that side. And then I'll take Puro Amor and add a little bit to the waterline. And of course, no look is complete without mascara. A nice contrasting black will do. Don't forget the bottom. And voila, it's done. I think for me, you know, I love to wear makeup every day. I mean, I love myself without makeup, but I, I enjoy putting on makeup. And sometimes, you know, it's, it's good to change things up and experiment. I think that's the fun part. So there you have it. It's that easy and hopefully you'll try it out yourself if not with green, with any color, and I would love to see uh, some of your approaches to this look. Mm -hmm.